Welcome back to my channel. This is a long overdue video. I've been just so busy with a lot of things happening lately. I had my baby shower on Saturday and so I'm just kind of now getting back into the swing of things and so I just wanted to start this video and just get it out there because it's already two weeks late. I am actually 29 weeks pregnant today and so I was gonna do my second trimester update two weeks ago but so much has been going on for me that I have been unable to do it so I'm going to do it now uh, before it's way too late so I just wanted to start this video with saying uh, you know if you guys want to see more content please let me know what you want to see I don't have a lot of like people asking me questions, so it's kind of hard for me to do like a whole Q&A video. Um, maybe I can do like 50 facts about me. Maybe that's what I'll do for my next video. Um, but I have like lots of other things happening. Like I have my baby shower video that is gonna be coming out this week as well. Um, so you guys will see that too. So if you guys wanna see more content, please let me know what you wanna see. I just, have so many other videos that are going to be starting to come out. I know I've been saying this in like almost every single video, but like it hasn't been the right time yet. Um, soon you'll be able to see the nursery and all the things that have been kind of coming together. Yeah, so let's just jump into this video because I know it's going to be long and I just want to get it out and have it out because I've been having such bad issues with my editing software. That's also the other thing that's been going on. And it's making hard, um, making it hard for me to post videos is that my editing software won't fully take all the footage and then condense it. Instead, it's like going in pieces and then some stuff is deleting and it's like just a mess. Uh, but yeah, so let's start. Uh, so my second trimester started in my 13, 14 weeks and I just realized I already did my 20 weeks update and this is what, and I just realized I fucked this up. I literally just said everything for the last 20 minutes, but the last 20 minutes I've already done. I have to restart. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's redo this. So I'm going to start off with week 20. Um, here we go. <laughs> uh, this is halfway point. I couldn't believe I was at this point. It's so crazy to think that I was at um, halfway when I was. Um, I was having, like, if you know my past video, I was having better bowel, I'm having better bowel movements. Um, I've been adding more fiber into my diet, um, and some, like, different foods. I had sore joints. Oh my gosh, my joints, my knees, my ankles hurt so bad. Um, my appetite was really high. I just wanted to eat all the time, like, every two hours. Um, I was still having trouble sleeping, like, oh my god, sleep is like the hardest part for me. I already have a hard time sleeping, so this is just icing on the cake, basically. Uh, week 21, um, this is, uh, if you saw my last video, uh, kind of my update, my 20, week 23 appointment update, you know that I have varicose attachment, which, um, is, uh, disintegration of the back of the eye. Um, I go more in depth in that video, but basically I have floating eye particles in my eye and it's causing lots of black dots, blurry vision in both eyes. And it's just like really difficult to deal with. Like at this point it was getting so severe. I was like, why am I still having headaches? Had emergency eye exam. That was sketchy. Go check out my video, you'll, you'll hear about it. But yeah, so I'm still dealing with that right now and I'm at week 29. So, horrible. I'm tired all the time. I'm assuming he's growing at this point. Um, heartburn was more. I had, appetite was really high still. Like I said, it was like every two hours I was having something to eat. I gained another pound. So at this point, I think I had gained 28 pounds um, in total. Uh, baby is, what is a pound and a half and, um, oh wait, no, the baby is a pound 
and a foot long at this point in my halfway week, um, at week 21, and I just, I can't believe how big that was, like, just so crazy. Um, I also had my, uh, 20 week appointment, so I forgot to mention that, yeah, I had my 20 week appointment and everything went great, um, I had my digestion and diabetes, uh, test and screen totally good came back negative it is not the experience every single woman says it is I was expecting the grossest drink ever it was not it was actually good tasting I don't know why it was for me and not for other people I don't have a sweet tooth like the woman was like oh you have five minutes to complete this like people struggle with this like you're like you may have to go to the washroom, just let me know. Like, people can't get it down in the five minute mark. And I'm like, okay, like, that's bad. That sounds real bad. I finished mine in a minute. <laughs> and I'm like, what are people talking about? Like, this is so good. Like, and she's like, do you have a sweet tooth? I'm like, not at all. I do not have a sweet tooth. I've had cravings during this pregnancy early on, but I don't have a sweet tooth generally. So it was so weird. Finish it so easily. It was the fastest I, I, I thought I was expecting like really long time to wait. It went by so fast for me. I was so shocked. Like it was such a different experience than everyone else has, and I'm like very thankful. Could do it again, no problem. Um, so that's really good. I have a negative gestational diabetes test, which makes me so happy because I was worried as fuck that I was gonna have it. But apparently it has nothing to do with during your pregnancy. It has to do with before you get pregnant, like right before you get pregnant and how your placenta grows. Um, I guess I was just really healthy beforehand. So I was very healthy during. Um, and so that, that came back in my week 21. And then um, I noticed that my breasts were very veiny, like really, really veiny. Like you could see way more. Um, it wasn't just like a little veins popping up more. It was like a lot more veins. Um, yeah, sleep is better. I bought some new sheets and pillows because I was convinced it was my sheets and my pillows that were doing this to me. Um, the nursing blunt pillow, I don't use. It's so uncomfortable, the seam in it. I have like a really hard time sleeping i am like princess in the pea if there's like one speck of crumb if there's one thing in the bed that makes me uncomfortable i cannot sleep i have like the sensitive skin like no other like my nerves are on high alert all the time it's so annoying it's probably my paras parasomatic um system is just really fucking heightened um but yeah so i did that it helped a bit, just a bit. <laughs> uh, I was having hemorrhoids start uh, during this week. I actually had my nephew born. Uh, my partner's brother's wife had their kid. So now they're gonna be about four months apart. So cool. Yeah, like if you know, I had a miscarriage. And so I had gotten pregnant in July last year and we saw them in August and apparently Amber had been like trying and they hadn't gotten pregnant yet. They'd been trying for so long. And then I had my miscarriage in September and they got pregnant in September. So it was like crazy. Cause I'm like, oh, man, we would have been pregnant at the same time. I was super bummed. I was like, wow, I just had a miscarriage and like you get a baby. Um, and like, I just felt bummed that like, we couldn't have the experience with them but then we got pregnant so soon after that like I'm I got to have pregnancy with her she doesn't live here she lives in Alberta but we got to like be pregnant at the same time still so I got to have what I wanted to do which is super cool uh, but yeah he's super cute oh my gosh his name's Kane he's such a cute little baby um but yeah, so that happened on week 21. Uh, and then week 22, I started having like capillary issues. I was having bloody noses, gum bloody gums, like all that shit. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I gained another two pounds, so I'm about 29 pounds heavier. Um, I felt like I was in the sweet spot. Like I was like, oh, I have a cute little bump. I'm like doing great. Like I feel really good about myself. I just was like so happy in that, in that time. Like I felt like I was soaking it in a lot. And it's like really hitting me on pregnant because I had my test come back negative and he was beautiful because I had my 20 week ultrasound as well, um, two weeks beforehand. And so I was like, really like taking it all in. I was like, oh my gosh, my baby's healthy, which made my experience so much better in that week. Um, I was able to really feel it. My feet started to hurt when I was standing too long, which was like, wow, okay. Um, yeah, like it started to hit me. The weight started to affect my ankles and stuff. Um, still had the blurry eye on, blurry and I had vision problems, which made me, you know, go to the point where I'm like, wow, these black dots are getting worse. Let me call the doctor. I got an emergency exam, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, that's what happened in week 22, and I got all I dealt with. Um, and then week 23, I was having restless legs again that were really, really bad. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, I just kept getting the bathing at night after, like, way before bed and subsided a little bit. I was having dry throat. Um... And I don't know if it's the combination between changing the season and having a fan on at night, but I was having kind of waking up with dry throat, which was super fucking annoying, like so annoying. No matter how many kids I'm getting like, throughout the night, nothing. Still, still dry throat. Bigger belly. Oh my god, so cute. I loved it. It was like, wow, I can't believe it. Um, uh, it started to feel more difficult to get up, so I was like starting to like hold myself up more when I got up uh, because of the extra weight <sighs> because I was having dry throat I was also having congestion so like congestion mixed with the dry throat typical symptoms um tired way more often because I was getting bigger uh I gained another two pounds so now I was at 31 pounds total which is crazy I'm like holy crap I'm losing 31 pounds what um blurry vision still happening uh belly button started to pop forward oh my god i had like such weird sensation happening um, on my right side of my belly button like literally the weirdest like it was like tingling but felt numb and it was only like a quarter size like right near my navel i'm like okay that's obviously my uterus growing but like it was such a weird sensation. I'm like, what is going on? Like, it felt kind of like jerry. It was really weird. I mentioned it to my doctor. She said, it's probably fine. So I guess it is fine because it seems okay right now. Um, but yeah, so it was kind of weird. But I was like, oh my God, I'm a huge any um, belly button person. So like, I couldn't believe I could start seeing it going forward. I'm like, holy crap, this is so weird. Um, and then week 24, I had heartburn and acid reflux happening a lot more. So Tums were my friend. Um, I felt very happy. I felt like I was I'd still in like the glow stage. I was like, holy crap, like this is me. I'm pregnant. Like, I can't believe it. Um, felt really, really good in this week. Um, I hit a very, very amazing milestone in this week. I hit... Uh, my viability stage um, milestone and that basically means that at this point if the baby was born uh, he could survive outside the womb which means like if there was any intervention with an you um, and so he could, he, could, he could survive on his own outside the womb which I was like oh my god like, this is making it so much easier for me um, because it's making this more real and more like like I don't have to worry so much like, I didn't need to, like, get choked up about it because it's just so amazing. I started ha having a more heavy feeling in the belly. So, like, more tightness and, like, more, like, heft to my belly. And then week 25, um, I was still having acid reflux. Um, still having the tight belly. 
I had still had stuffy nose, I had back pain happening, um, crampy pains happening, I guess in the years going, um, belly button pain in the navel, and it started to change, my, my navel started to change, um, which is cool because I'm just going forward and I'm getting bigger. Uh, I had my birthday dream this week and it was super weird. I had like extreme pain on my birthday. I woke up that day and I'm like, what is going on? I had like extreme pain, like tightness happening. I'm like, is this Braxton Hicks? Like, what is going on here? Um, it was like weird because like it didn't seem like out of the normal, but it did at the same time, if that makes sense. Because like, I obviously don't know what I'm doing. I'm a first time mom. Um, and it was so weird, like, it felt like he was scraping inside me, like, he was moving, and it felt like he was moving, like, like this, doing this in my uterus, because they're trying to, like, they're, um, apparently at this point, they were, like, trying to move their limbs more and trying to get more exercise. I'm assuming that's what it was, because, like, I don't know, it was strange. It was, like, the strangest pain, like, can you just stop? <laughs> Like, it felt like he was, like, trying to get out of me, kind of thing. Uh, it subsided in the, into the night, so that was nice. It stopped. It wasn't so severe. I had really, really bad anxiety attacks happening during this week. I had some things going on with my mom. I had um, just, like, some inducing anxiety attacks that happened. I had three really, really severe ones, and I haven't had severe anxiety attacks in like maybe three quarters of a year so it was like a lot to take in like I don't know if it was my hormone imbalance or not but like I felt a big weight on my shoulder um I still had like the numbness and tingle tingling happening in my navel probably from my uterus growing um and then week 26 uh I was tired all the time I had my blood work results come in. Um, I did take that with my gestational diabetes test. Um, and I forgot to mention that when I was talking about it in my week. Uh, 23, week 23, yeah. Um, I had my blood work results done and it said I was extremely low in iron. Like, this is what could be the cause of my restless legs. It is a symptom, um, but uh, it's weird because I didn't have any other symptoms. Like I wasn't tired to the point where like the symptom persisted into that way. Like I thought I was just tired because like I'm gaining weight. Like it wasn't fatigue, like fatigue fatigue. Um, it was weird. Like I wasn't having like the the typical iron, low iron symptoms. So. She's like, you're really low in iron. Like, you need to get on supplements. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, which is super weird because I have like lots of iron already. But I guess the baby was just taking all of my iron and leaving me with a little bit to survive. So um, I'm on iron pills. I'm on the 300 milligrams of uh, Aerospinite. So that's what I'm on. I take it every other day. Um, and that's kind of what's been going on. Um, back aches, rib aches, I, my boobs are getting bigger. I'm definitely more on the right side, so it's like pressing into my ribs a lot more, which is annoying. Um, I'm feeling a lot more pregnant, like how everyone else seems to say pregnancy goes, like um, as it's hard and that like, it's funny because like this whole pregnancy, I haven't really felt the real like, oh my God, I'm fucking pregnant. Like, oh my God, this is unbearable. Like, I haven't really felt that. But during this week, I was like, oh, I feel a lot more pregnant. Like, I actually feel more pregnant. Um, but it, it's so weird because like so many people say it's like so much more worse than how I actually am feeling. So it's weird. Um, I started to not be able to tie my shoes. My belly was getting to that point where it's like if I bent over, it was very uncomfortable. Um, my toes. I went um, went on a trip with my friends, and 
I went up island and basically I had a really good time. I wasn't too pregnant to do anything. I was able to keep up with everybody. I was up really late most nights. I was up most nights um, until like midnight, which was really good considering I was pregnant. Um, I was knocked out when I was up there. I was able to sleep. I don't know, maybe it's their bed, but because we were staying at Tyler's mom's house up, up island. And uh, we got the whole house to ourselves with a couple of my friends, which was super fun. I really had a good time. Um, my toes swelled once when I was there. Um, the heat, I think the heat induced it. Um, then they started to swell again when I got home. Um, maybe the elevation change as well had to deal with it. I had really bad heartburn and acid reflux, so I was taking tons a lot more. My belly button was pushing way more forward at this point. Like it was like pretty much out. Um, I was uh, still having vagina issues, obviously. I had the dandruff and the inflammation in my hair again, in my head, in my scalp. So annoying. Um, Cause I had stopped taking the dandruff control uh, acid shampoo. I stopped taking it. So I ended up doing more of that. Baby movements were a lot larger. So instead of it being like little kicks that I could see out, they were like full force, which is really crazy. I couldn't believe it. Like at this stage, like it was just so crazy. Um, and then like, it was just so weird to be like feeling those kicks. And then the last week of my second trimester, I, week 27, um, I, this is the last week of my second trimester, I had my second viability stage milestone and that milestone is his lungs were fully developed, which means if he was born, he could breathe on his own and no intervention from the NICU. I cannot believe it. So crazy at like this stage at the very end of the second trimester, if he was born, he'd be okay. I just like another thing that just me so happy about uh and like i just like i can't i can't even believe it like i just was so grateful to to be at that stage to have ended my second trimester was such a good experience and just looking forward to the third trimester because that means that he's coming soon and just to have everything get together um i had a hip pain like sciatic pain happening in this week um i had a hard time falling asleep still but i was having like aching bones happening because the uterus was growing and my body was trying to handle it um i like started to notice because my belly was getting so big um i i'll put a clip in of my 27th week bump I, I couldn't do dishes really like it's really hard to do dishes and that's the other thing too people at this point are like oh I'm not doing dishes I'm not doing anything I'm just sitting down and I'm like still grocery shopping which I know should not be doing grocery shopping but they're not like extreme grocery shopping experiences like um I'm just getting like a couple days worth of groceries and like I'm still walking a lot I'm pretty active for being this pregnant um and I have a huge bump, like bigger than most people. Because people, like I'm, I'm in a mom's group and like a lot of their bumps are like, they get their bumps at like 24 weeks. And somehow at 27 weeks, I have like a third trimester bump, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, so I'm really, really active, but so I was doing the dishes and like I noticed I'm like, oh my God, I'm leaning forward a lot more. My belly is like touching the sink, like, touching the sink and it's making things harder to do the dishes so I'm like Tyler you have about another week or so and then you're gonna have to start doing all the chores because otherwise it just won't be done because I can't do it and he works full time so I'm like crap <laughs> um but yeah so that was happening and like I was getting more back and, and calf aches because I'm obviously getting bigger um and the belly's getting bigger but yeah, that was like my full um, last half of my second trimester because you guys know 
I did my 20 weeks update. And so go check that out. It has all the symptoms beforehand. Like I just um, apparently redid them and then realized halfway through, oh my God, I've already done this. So I had to switch gears. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was my second trimester. And now I'm in my third trimester. I'm week two in my third trimester. I'm 29 weeks pregnant. And so next week, I can't believe I'm going to be hitting 30 weeks. And you know what's crazy? When you hit 30 um, weeks, uh, you start having appointments every two weeks. So I have my appointment this week, um, and it will be every two weeks after that, which is so crazy to think because at 34 weeks, you could come at 34 weeks. 34 to 30 or to 40 is like the, the time zone between like when you have a kid. So like if he comes early, he could come early at 34 weeks. You know what I mean? Like you can come like like freaking close, you know? Um I have like seventy six days left in my pregnancy um till my due date. <sighs> like wow. Two and a half months. And like when you really think about it, like so I'm twenty nine weeks, I have eleven weeks till then, which means I have like five paychecks till we get to here, which is weird to think, like, five paychecks in the next year. <laughs> so, yeah, that is, like, my rundown of my second trimester. Things are just going so well. I have my baby shower, which you guys will see in my next video, um, and then my mental health video, and then, like, so many other things happening. We got so many cute things for the baby. We made another baby haul. I know I'm doing so many of them, but, like, it's just expected. Um, and then you guys will see the nursery tour, which you kind of get an idea already what's happening here. Um, so yeah, you'll see that as well. But yeah, that is my update and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I'm informative enough. I can give some insight a little bit. My pregnancy seems way easier than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I'm not getting into the bad part yet. Clearly, I'm obviously not that, that pregnant yet. I don't know how it's going to be in the, the last 11 weeks, so you'll know when I do that update. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, and yeah. Bye.